applause for Manny Bennett. You know, people can run around and, and have, you know, be in Hollywood and, and run to all the parties and that sort of stuff. But, but for me, it's a, it's a, you know, I'll tell you one thing. I, I went to Greece last year, and there's a place called Epidavros, and Epidavros uh, is the site of the very first amphitheater. Um, now, the amphitheater, of course, is now your couch at home in front of the television, <laughs> right? But it's the same thing. That philosophy was born in 1000 BC in Greece. And it was invented by a people called the Escipio. And the Escipio were like a medicine people. They, they invented apothecary. Right? So they, they were the first people to sort of be branching out with apothecary around Europe. And uh, when they built this amphitheater, I discovered, um, they, they built it because if a person stood in the middle, they could use their voice as medicine. And I found that to be just enlightening. You know, I suddenly realized, you know. Uh, I'll tell you a true story. You know, when I was when I was 15, um, uh, I lost my mother and my brother in, in two separate car accidents. Uh, you know, some people ask about the scars on my face, and they say, you know, are you uh, is that makeup for Crixus or whatever? You know, yeah. and, uh, and I said, no, no, it's a real scar because I was in the car with my mother when we were hit by a drunk driver, and a car spun through the air and into a telegraph pole. My mother was killed. I was thrown out the side window. I woke up two weeks later in the hospital, two weeks in a coma. And, um, and I actually woke up, and the person next to my bed was my worst enemy from school. <laughs> this guy that I hated, and he hated me. We were two different dogs. And I then subsequently found out that he had lost his mother when he was younger. The reason why we had a, a, a fight between the two of us is because he was like a Westie. You know, he had like a mullet haircut and wore like death metal t-shirts. Later on, he had the loudest cars, and kind of like, you know, yeah. he'd like to play with engines so that war, like his soul was roaring. And I had no idea. I had gel in my hair, I had a beautiful mother, good family, you know, kind of, you know, did break dancing. So him and me were like two different dogs. But then when my mother died, he came to my bedside because he'd lost his mother when he was younger. So as soon as he heard that this person close to him in his life, had lost their mother. He came to that hospital bed to be beside me. I based my performance as Crixus on that. And that's why I drove so hard against Andy Whitfield all the time, because I knew at some stage, and my, my producer came to me and he said, Manu, what are you doing? Why, why, you, people think Crixus is an asshole. Yeah. And I said, great. <laughs> And there's a kid over there that's about nine years old, and I'm sorry I said that. Again. In the context of Spartacus, it's actually quite tame. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, uh, you know, these these contexts in my life have set a precedence for me to be a committed artist. 
you know, and whether it be playing Crixus or whether it be playing Slade Wilson, sliding between being a sort of a semi-father figure to Oliver, then sort of having a weakness that a, a woman started a love triangle, started a, a sort of a fatherly revenge mission upon a girl that was killed on an island and he thought that Oliver Queen was responsible, the next thing he, he's dying. And oh, Remember this, because it's a funny little thing that always gets forgotten. Oliver gave me the Mirakuru because <laughs> yeah. I was dying, right? <laughs> so he became, you know, the Mirakuru sort of enraged, you know, uh, 20 year old version of me, 20 year old version of me out in the streets in the clubs at four o'clock in the morning trying to wonder where the hell life is going, destroying me, my soul destroyed by the death of my mother and my brother. You know, these things I know, so I sink them into the roles, right? And, um, and I think that's the gray matter. You know, that's, that's the gray matter. And that's, that's, why we, that's why we still go to Epi Davros. That's why we still sit on our couch in front of television because we're looking for story to be the connective tissue of the heal in some way or to live in some way through heroics or through sorrow or through romance or through all these different sort of you know story designs you know so uh so just as an overview of the roles that i've done in my life you know um i've been pretty lucky you know i've been pretty lucky crixus crixus was you know i was struggling as an actor for a long time i was living in australia and if i was cast in a television role you know and and, and you know not, 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 not trying to wear a a, a, a racial, you know, uh, you know uh, but you, you know, I'll be cast as the. I remember my first show. I was the, the brown haired, tan guy that was trying to steal the blonde haired blue haired guy's <laughs> girlfriend. Which later on, I'd be I'd be doing the same thing with Stephen Amell. <laughs> there, there are some stereotypes. And trust me, yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny, but it's it's actually not funny if you. If you wear it right down to the very reason why we're still on a planet where we actually can't look at, you know, we can travel over a border and we feel like we're in a completely strange and isolated world that we don't understand at all. You know, we live on a little ball, you know, we've got to, we've got to tell a bit more stories and, uh, and share them. But, uh, but you know, sort of, a, you know, through my career, you know, I've, I've just tried to embrace as much of this world as I can and then learn as many stories as I can, uh, learn as many cultures as I can. And uh, you know, uh, try try to try to find the stories that that, that resonate. Um, and if I keep on going with this one question, we're not going to have any more questions. <laughs> How about that kid? Yeah, yeah. Does that have any questions?